All right, so I just got back in from Tarbrook. Durham County! Ready to go! Because it's been a busy week and we had our District 1 convention and I'm starving, so I'm having a salad and um, some shredded carrots and I'm gonna, oh, and this is the stuff that I'm putting on it. I feel like I'm missing something though. Oh, I got these crouton things. This is not good to put in your salad, but that's what I'm putting in my salad. And that's what I'm gonna have, because I'm hungry. And it's been a crazy, hectic week. And I'm gonna eat that, and then I'm gonna talk about some other stuff. Videographer, I have a new videographer today. And um, he's behind the scenes. He's doing a very awesome job. So, like, I don't know if that's enough salad, because I'm totally hungry. And I'm still dressed for my little thing, like my outfit. Like my shoes, these are my daughter's shoes. All right, so as I fix my salad, I'm gonna talk a little bit. It's been like a crazy week. So I've got my salad with my carrots on top. Um, and the carrots are actually really sweet. They're just like plain shredded carrots. And this is just an organic spring mix there. And then like I said before, I have these. Okay, so that's all great. What I really should be eating is this. I may eat that too, that's how hungry I am. But it's been a crazy week, it's been very hectic. Yesterday, I actually, I'm gonna cut up my stuff like this, y'all. Yesterday, I actually um, had three things scheduled at the same time. scheduled for court and then oh carrots are going everywhere and then I had a webinar scheduled and I was supposed to be on a radio show and I yeah I couldn't make the radio show I I mean carrots are like literally like popping everywhere I couldn't make the radio show and thankfully the court appearances got canceled because like i just would have like totally messed that up take a look at my salad now so i've like chopped it up that's a lot of green mm -hmm. this dressing that i'm using it's paul newman's raspberry walnuts and i actually so it usually it has a lot of oil in it i actually usually pour the oil off and by then I'll pour it off like it's like down to here um so I'll put some of this up there I usually measure it out and try to do about two tablespoons um but I'm not really caring today because I'm like hungry I have a headache I'm starving and I'm ready to eat so yeah with all the stuff that's been going on this week everything that I've had scheduled it can be really really hard um to stay on top of your fitness goals and so yesterday morning with me being triple booked, like how did I get that done, right? I know you're wondering, how did I get that done? And I've also been doing um, some up live videos um, and those have been great. I have not figured out yet how to save those so that I can then share those up here because those have been actually really awesome. I've had an awesome time doing those. So I ran outside yesterday morning. That's how I was able to fit in my workout before, you know, the whole triple book thing. And I ran outside and something happened to me while I was running. All right, good morning. I just finished up my um, 8.6 mile run and i thought it was a friday so i thought it'd be a good day to to do that and i left early but apparently i did not check the weather because i did not know that it was going to rain today so i got about a mile from home and it didn't start drizzling on me it started pouring on me so i was about seven and a half miles into my run this looks a little too dark. I'm gonna have to check this out. Alrighty. So 
Like I was saying before, when you've got so much stuff going on, it can be really hard to fit in, um, you know, exercise every day. And this, you know, the last couple of weeks have been really crazy. I've been to like courthouses all over the state, running up and down the highway, um, then just recording, although I haven't been, so I've been recording, but I haven't been able to put it together in a video. So, you know, so yeah, so I was able to get out yesterday, got caught in the rain, as you just saw on my little um, Facebook Live post about that. And so I had to get up really early to do that. Um, my Runtastic app kept up with all of that. And so the key, I mean, they're like two keys to it all. Um, and that's what I was saying before. It's consistency, so like committing to do it every day, but being flexible in what that looks like. So it may mean, okay, um, I walk on the treadmill at home, or I walk through my neighborhood, or I run outside, or I go to the gym, or I walk with a friend. So you're consistently doing something every day, but because your schedules may be crazy or hectic, or you just don't know when you're gonna be able to get it in, you're flexible about what that exercise look like. So looks like. So if you're the person who feels like it's always gotta be in the gym, then if something happens to your gym, then you're like, like if you can't get there or something, then that's gonna kill it for you. So you've got the consistency part down because you're like, yes, I go to the gym, you know, these four days a week. But if something happens and you can't get there, say you're out of town for work or for family commitment, then that's gonna totally throw you off because your consistency is bound up into doing exercise only one day, one way. And so that's gonna be an issue. So it can't just be about consistency, it has to be about flexibility too. And that's why I'm able to sort of do what I'm doing, which is working as an attorney and doing all this political stuff like I was at today in Tarboro. And we wrapped that up, I got on the road, I came back and I'm trying to eat. And so when you're throwing all of that together, like I said, it can't just be about consistency. You gotta, you gotta be flexible with it. Cause otherwise you're either gonna give up or you're gonna like get down on yourself because you didn't fit it in. And if you're flexible about it, then you can go with the flow and you can be like, you know what? I can't go to the gym, but I can go for a walk cause the sun is shining like that. So hopefully you'll take away those two tidbits and think about those um, and, you know, sort of assess what's going on with what you're doing. Like, am I being consistent? Because usually that's it. Usually most of the time we aren't being consistent. Am I being consistent? But am I so rigid that when stuff gets in the way, the consistency falls because I... I don't know how to adapt and I can't be flexible. So assess what you're doing. Let me know in the comments, you know, which one of those you're having an issue with. And we can talk about some strategies to help you be either more consistent or more flexible when your schedule is all over the place. Cause you know, you, I don't know that you wanna get up at five something in the morning and run, or you probably don't wanna get caught in the rain either. In any case, Put it in the comments. Let's figure out what'll work for you. And don't forget to subscribe. Check out my next video, but don't forget to subscribe below. Hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you soon. Oh, and I'm gonna eat my salad now, so, I mean, you, you really probably don't wanna watch that. Might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional.